Hey guys, um, welcome back to Lid Life. I'm so excited that you're joining me again. As you can see, the environment I'm in is a little bit different. I decided to fil film this one outside because um, my house can get very loud sometimes and right now it is especially loud. So I didn't want there to be that much background noise. So here we are. <laughs> Um, she might be around a bit because she likes to sit with me when I'm outside. <laughs> it's a wee bit chilly out here, but it's been snowing on and off, so hopefully it will stay a bit sunny while I do this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy Meaningful Monday number three. Today I'm going to be talking about something that has really encouraged me and given me a lot of hope throughout this time of isolation, so I hope it can give you guys some hope as well. Something that I've been thinking about a lot throughout this, you can go, sorry about that. Something I've been thinking about a lot throughout this time of social isolation is how different my life is now compared to when this whole thing started. And I feel like a lot of people, and I felt this way too, are definitely feeling like we're missing out or everything is changing, like everything has changed and everything has kind of been stripped away from us. I mean, everything in my life looks different now, whether it's school, school's totally different, it's online, um, I don't get the social interaction that I usually enjoy. Um, church looks different for me, seeing my friends, even going shopping, um, everything, everything looks different. And something that I was reminded of the other day is that even though everything around me has changed, everything about my normal life has changed, there is one thing that has remained the same. And that's God. It is so encouraging to me um, to just know that the God that I served before social isolation started is the same God that I serve today, even now. There's a verse in Hebrews chapter 13, um, verse 8, that has actually encouraged me a lot and really reminded me of this. So I'm just going to read it now. It says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. And so a few weeks ago, when this whole social isolation thing had been going on for already a few weeks, that like really reminded me, wait, like even though we're in the middle of this crazy time, like God is still the same. God is still the same and he's still looking out for us and he's still working and he's still moving and he still loves us. Like none of that has changed. And remembering that God is always the same also reminded me that, um, Jesus is such a firm foundation for our lives. I mean, if you think about it, even before the coronavirus, everything in our lives changed already. Um, from what friends we have, to where we live, to what we eat and wear on a day to day, to what car we have, to our jobs, to just everything. Um, but Jesus always remains the same and he always will remain the same yesterday, today and forever, just like that verse in Hebrews says. So I want to encourage you um, this week, if you're feeling a little hopeless or you're feeling a little shaken up by all this or afraid, that's fine, but I want to remind you that you can put your trust in Jesus because he is a firm foundation. And even though everything in our lives have changed drastically, like so much, um, he has remained the same. And we can trust him to do what he said he's going to do. And we can trust him to remain faithful in our lives. There's a verse in Romans, Romans 8 verse 28, that says, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. So if you make that choice to love God and you're seeking him and pursuing him, the Bible says that he will um, work things out for your good. 
And when I say he, he'll work things out for our good, I don't mean that he's going to give you exactly what you want or he's going to do what you think is best for you. Because the Bible also says that his thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts and his ways are so much higher than our ways. And so sometimes he does things that are best for us, but we can't see that because we can't see the full picture of what he's doing. So even when we can't see um, how God may be working something out for our good or see how he's working or how he's moving in our lives, we can trust that he is if we are pursuing him and loving him. Sometimes for me, I find it very hard to trust God. And I think that's especially for two reasons. The first one being, I am the type of person who likes to be in control. I like knowing what's going on and I like having control over situations I'm in and just feeling like I do have a say in what happens. But there are some situations in my life that obviously happen that I don't have any control over at all. So trusting God and giving him that control can be very, very hard. The second thing, and this kind of goes along with it, is that God is so powerful and that can be such um, an encouragement and it can help me trust him more, but it, it can also scare me to trust him a little bit sometimes because I know that as much as he is powerful enough to do the miracles and do the things that I would want him to do, he is also powerful enough to maybe do the opposite and take away what I think is best for me and give me something else. And um, I'm scared to give him that control. And I don't think I'm alone in this. I think a lot of people feel this way. Um, so that's why I just wanted to remind you today that Jesus is trustworthy and he is constant and he remains the same. I would say the three biggest takeaways that I want you guys to take away from this today are that number one, God remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. Number two, Jesus is a firm foundation and a solid place for us to put our hope in. And number three, God is trustworthy. And if you are loving him and seeking him, he will work everything out for your good. Um, well, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you once again for joining me. And I hope that this could encourage you or challenge you a little bit. Oh, so cold. My hands are so cold. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Please, once again, feel free to reach out if you need anything. And I will talk to you guys later.